It's through meditation or through the sexual union that you will reach a higher state. It's the, the, the pleasure taboo is something that's basically hinged on 2,000 years of Abrahamic history. Our Greek and Roman forefathers, actually every one of our forefathers that, that were not um, underneath the Abrahamic sheet, all believed that sex was sacred. And that, in fact, if we look at the Greek, they, they, they speak of logos and the divine union, the union with God. And, and, and one of the most direct ways to attain that was through the sexual union. And temples were built to celebrate the gods and goddesses. And making love was a way to, to break through the barrier of the real world, the earthly existence, and, and transcend. If we go beyond the Western borders uh, and we go to Asia, we have Tantra, Taoism, and those actually were schools of thought that they developed schools of thought that affected the way that Westerners today even make love. Their main philosophy didn't affect ours, and that was that through the sexual union, again, we could come closer to God. And through loving each other, we could obtain illumination. And, and the Taoists actually said it's through meditation or through the sexual union that you will reach a higher state, an enlightened state. And the Abrahamic religions did the opposite. They believed in abstinence, and abstinence leads to frustration. And frustration is a horrible, horrible, horrible disease, no? It leads to all sorts of other problems. The pleasure taboo in, in the Western world is, um, it's, it's, it's deeply, deeply rooted on the idea that, that, that pleasure was sinful. It was sex, and it's related to carnal sin, you know? Sex and sin go hand in hand. And so sex became dirty. It became naughty. It became something that one should punish themselves for, you know? And particularly women. You know, a woman in the 1950s who had an orgasm might spend the next week, you know, doing Hail Marys. What happened in the 1960s which led to the 1970s and the most liberated sexual era of our time since the, our Greek and Roman forefathers had um, been really enjoying themselves. <laughs> um, it was a 10-year period. If we think about what happened also on a research level in the 1970s, suddenly also women were vo involved in research. That had never happened. Women were involved in medicine and they were, they were very interested in their own bodies. And the female body started to be unveiled. This is all very recent. We're talking 40 years ago. It's quite amazing, huh? Um, there's a lot of work to be done. My ultimate goal is, again, to dismantle the pleasure taboo by revealing the truth behind certain things and the reasons and the whys. And and actually, I think that if we know how to do certain things or we understand the benefits of doing certain things, that we're tempted to actually try them. I think that ultimately, if we stop judging our own sexuality and that of others, then the doors into a whole new world of pleasure can just be flung open. Hi, my name is Bethany Vernon. Subscribe to Thinker.